Hey guys, Golden Keats here, making more videos again, and today guys, we're gonna be taking a look at a parking assistance system with a twist, so let's get to it. So a while back I actually made a video about another type of parking assistance system and that uses your actual phone. But in this case, this has something different. And these guys right here at AutoBox, they contacted me and they said, hey, would you like to review their newest parking system? And I was like, I really wanted to check it out because this has something that I've never seen before and I think it's actually really cool and I think it's actually viable. So without further ado, let's start unboxing this. Ooh, ooh. These box. Ooh. All right, you got some literature right here and some more literature right here. And let's take a look at the actual camera itself. Ho oh, ho. Oh. Now this is what the twist I'm talking about. This thing is gonna be awesome. Let me put that down to the side. All right, you got some cables right here. We're gonna take a look at everything in here. Got some more cables and finally the actual camera itself. This is something that I can actually see myself using and it's so easy to install, guys. So, so let's put all this box to the side. Let's see what's in the bags. Put that box to the side. All right, let's take a look at the first bag right here. Okay, so you have some Velcro right here. You have the actual antenna. So let me take out what's in this package right here also. I'm pretty sure that this component is the, oh, yep, the cigarette lighter. And last but not least, let's take out the actual awesome mirror right here, guys. This is what I'm looking for right here. Oh, I can already see the actual, okay. Take out the, ooh, so smooth. Okay, so this is a very simple system. I already see what's going on. I don't even need to read the instructions actually because this is super simple. Now you guys might be wondering, it says wireless wireless parking assistant system. So you must be wondering, why do they call it the wireless system? There's so much wire right here. Well, the reason why is because this part right here goes into the back part of your car, you know, in the actual rear part of your car. And this right here goes into the actual driver section of your car. You know, this goes into the, into the actual backup mirror part of your car. And they communicate with each other wirelessly, basically, with this, using this wireless transmitter. Basically, I mean, the first step right here already, I'm just gonna you know, screw this wireless transmitter antenna in here, like so, you know, make sure it's good, and bam, you're done, that's, that's, that's it. This, you can just easily double side stick it to somewhere, you know, underneath the carpeting of your car, in the top part of your trunk, or whatever, it's super easy, guys. And so let me take off this little sticker off the camera. Oh wow, the camera is nice. Another cool feature about this camera, it also comes with LEDs on here, as you can see, there's LEDs right here. So whenever you do put your car into reverse, the LEDs also turn on, and basically you connect it you know, like so. And there's plenty of wire right here so that you can have this transmitter wherever you want inside your car. There's plenty of wire even right here. Whenever you know you put it in reverse, the backup camera lights turn on and also this gets power. The camera gets power. It transmits to this guy. This turns on. Everything is awesome. Now all of the installation instructions are all in the actual installation guide in the literature that they provide. So, and they're very detailed so you don't have to worry about that. I mean, it's really simple that I don't even think you might need it. But if you do, that's perfectly fine. Now, now what makes this awesome is this part right here. This is the actual mirror, okay? Now it might look like an ordinary mirror and it really is. It's supposed to be an ordinary mirror except there's an LCD screen around right here that turns on when you actually put this guy in reverse. So that is the coolest thing about this, guys. Now, in my Honda Accord, the LCD screen is actually in the center, which is perfectly fine. I love it. However, for people that don't have a backup camera, this thing is like pretty awesome. How do you actually install this even better? You put the old mirror underneath this guy right here and you strap it down, basically. You strap it to the old mirror. So you don't have to be using screwdrivers or anything like that to get this into there. The installation, I mean, look, it's you plug it in. You literally plug it into a cigarette lighter and it has an extra USB port on the back. You can charge your phone with this also. I'm really curious to see how this LCD screen will turn on. It looks like a mirror right here, but I think it's kind of cool that there's an LCD screen right there. So without further ado, let's get to my car. Let's see how it is. Let's get to it, guys. Alrighty, guys, I got my Honda Accord right here and I'm so excited to show you how this thing works, guys. I kid you not, this took me four minutes to actually install this because it was so easy to install. It was literally close to plug and plug Play, and everything was super simple guys because it's wireless so you don't have to actually you know run wire to your actual car or anything like that so in my situation for test purposes to make it easy I basically installed the camera right here and as you can see there's two holes in here that makes it super easy to actually you know install this in your backup camera 
here. You know, the reason why I have it right here, it's so awesome. I might be using this for my, for like a front facing camera, okay? This is really awesome, guys. I really like it. That's how much I like it. Anyways, so you're gonna be actually, you know, using these holes right here. Here's the camera itself. I just have it hooked up right there. You know, it's not, it's nothing fancy. I just have it hooked up right there. And basically these holes right here, you basically connect it to here and here. You, you unscrew these guys, you know, put slide it in there and screw them back in. And then you have your license plate on here. Now, obviously this goes in the back, but in my case, I, like I said, I might be leaving it up here. Uh, and in the wire, it's so simple. You just, everything is like literally plug and play. Until you get to the actual wire, as you can see, here's the wire that connects to a 12 volt power source. Now, your situation, you're gonna be connecting that red wire. You can see the thin red wire and it's everything is in the literature okay everything is laid out in the literature so you don't have to worry about oh my god i'm lost i don't know what to do it's really that simple everything is still in the literature i know a lot of you guys are probably like come on get to the next part because it's that simple basically you're going to be you know tapping this wire into your backup light wire that's all the way in the back of your car okay your reverse light you're going to be tapping it now in my situation, I'm just getting, for the video purposes, I'm getting my power straight from a uh, battery right there. You can see I just tapped it through here, connected to the battery, and I just use some alligator clips and click it right there. And I just got, put ground on ground. I mean, you can do whatever you want. So in your situation, like I said, you're gonna be putting this in your reverse lights. If you're putting it in the front, uh, you can do whatever you want, obviously. It's a really simple process. All it is is getting power, really. If you have any questions about that, just you know, leave a comment below. Someone will help you out. I will help you out. So once it, everything is plugged in, you see the transmitter, it's right there. I haven't you know, put in an optimal play setting or anything like that to face it towards the actual, in my mirror, anything like that, because it has a hundred something meters or feet I've came to forget but it's ridiculously far how far this range is so next step so this part is already done now to go in the actual car this was even easier this one took like a minute and there you have it guys look at that look how simple it is there's no I mean I didn't have to screw in anything I don't have to do anything like that it's right there ready to go it just you know clips onto the old mirror as you can see here's my old mirror and here's my new mirror. It just basically straps on, just strap on, okay? And it's not going anywhere, and I can move this freely if I wanted to, just with the other mirror, so it's not going anywhere. This right here is a sensor. This is a status light. Here's the power button, okay? Now, as you can see, I have the wire running down straight into my cigarette lighter that, that's located right there. Just, just make it look nicer by going through the actual car and bring it down there, okay? There's plenty of wire. Look at, I mean, that is a lot of wire, guys. This is the easy part. This is really easy. Now, you know, hiding the wire, it's actually not that hard, okay? So you hide it wherever you want it to hide it. But now, the moment of truth, guys. So what I'm gonna do is plug that red wire in right there, come back in my car, and see how this part transform into an LCD screen, guys. Okay, so real quick, what I'm gonna do is basically plug this wire in for test purposes, as you can see. There you go, it's, let me make sure it's, there you go, it's connected. In your situation, it's already gonna be connected. You're gonna basically put it in reverse and it's gonna turn on. In my situation, I have to go right here to do it. I don't know, I might actually, like I said, I might leave this on and have like a button run into my car or something, I don't know. It's, it's a really awesome system, guys, I really like it. So now that the camera is armed and ready to go, in my situation, I have to use my key to actually, you know, you know give this some power, give this guy some power. So, I'm gonna put it in my car, as you can see. And bam, look at that, guys. Would you look at that? That looks so awesome. It just basically popped up and ready to go. And as you can see, that is my front section of my car right there. That's what it's showing. Now, as you can see, the mirror is still there. The LCD monitor just shows up right there because that's a you know double pane glass or whatever. So if I turn the system off, as you can see, it turns off and goes back to mirror. You can see my camera right there. You can see my hand. When I turn it back on, once again, bam. Look at that guys, super easy, super quick installation. Uh, nothing too fancy, everything is simple. What I'm gonna do just to get some more color into the background, I'm gonna actually tilt that camera down real quick. And there you have it guys, as you can see, I just moved the camera just to show you, you know, there's a water heater right there and stuff like that. Just wanna show you some more things. Uh, but as you can see, this, it is a wide angle lens. That is what you want when you get a backup camera guys. You want a wide angle lens. And this thing is so cool, like if I have friends in my car, uh, they're definitely gonna enjoy this also. Now one other thing I did not show you is let me leave this on and what I'm going to show you 
is the fact that, you know, at night, obviously you have your backup lights, okay? They're gonna be bright. But just in case, you can, there's a sensor right here that when it gets really dark, this also turns on, okay? So do not worry about that. Now, like I said, you don't have to worry about that light anyways because you have your super bright backup lights, especially if you get like the backup lights that, that are in my car. Um, they're gonna be super bright and they're, they're gonna light up the road anyways. So you don't have to worry about that. But that's a little slight detail. Like I said, guys, I am loving this thing. I These thi these devices are really awesome and they're really helpful sometimes whenever, you know, in your tight situation, especially if your car doesn't have a backup camera, this thing is, will do the trick. Installation is super easy, guys. Wiring is really simple. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. You know, make sure you go check out the link. It's also in the description below. I get a question like, I get that question pretty much every single video. I'm like, where do you buy the product? I'm like, okay, it's in the description below. Uh, links are in the description below, guys. If you have any questions that are detailed, make sure you contact the company also. They will help you out, okay? They, they know this product way more than me and in detail to any car. So you don't have to worry about that. You know, you're always covered. But anyways, guys, I think this is one of the hands down coolest devices I've had on my car, guys. And in terms of simplicity, how simple it is to install and complexity, how complex it is. This is a awesome mirrored rear view camera definitely a cool feature like I said and guys I have to say I love this thing and I know you will love it alrighty guys that's the mission for the video hope you guys enjoyed it links to purchase this bad boy is in the description below so do not worry about that I think this is definitely one of the most innovative things I've used on my channel especially in terms of car related just because of the fact that mirror turns into an LCD screen guys I think that's really awesome when you put it in reverse your friends in your car they're gonna be like whoa that's actually really cool there should be a subscribe button and a video popping up right here make sure you click on it enjoy it there for you to watch and subscribe for more videos in the future but other than that guys keep your share saying thanks for watching it Peace!